Then tell me. I am a bit more Dave. Kind of like Hearthstone. Don't get me wrong. Way more nerdy. Legends of Gaming. I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. How did I meet Daz Black? <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome. I am, of course, a bit more Dave. If you guys hadn't noticed, we've been growing insanely well. We've grown over 2,500 subscribers in the last week, which is absolutely insane. So as a 15,000 subscriber special, which I, I hit years ago on my old channel, but it's the first time I've hit it in a very long time, I thought I would tell you 10 things you didn't know about me, or 10 interesting facts about Dave. Number one, my entire family is Welsh. <laughs> you may not think of it because of my accent, but my whole family come from the valleys in Wales. <laughs> and I get called the posh one whenever I go home, I do. So yeah. I have got a whole load of family in Wales. They're all absolute legends. They're all barking mad, but I love them dearly. And my parents, Welsh. I, I, ha I, I still have to support Wales in the rugby, though. Otherwise, I get in big trouble. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know what rugby is, here's a little clip. <laughs> So I actually started my YouTube career March 2011 on a channel called Dave the Rave. Well, Mr. Dave the Rave back then. And the channel's got 57,996, 69, something like that, subscribers. Can you believe it? I was partnered with Machinima for about five years. Pretty much only did gaming. Um, so yeah, I mean, what can I say? That was, that was me. Uh, my most popular video was called Round 109, where I was going for a world kill record on Call of Duty Zombies, Kino de Toten, where I got over 30,000 kills, um, and I got to round 109, and it's got over a million views. That's my best, that's my most viewed video that I've ever made. Um, one day, hopefully, we'll crack that on Bit More Dave, but only with your guys' help. Fact number three, my most proud video isn't actually my most viewed video. My most proud video was a series when I went knife only on Mob of the Dead, on that channel is anyway, um, where I went to like round 36, I think, just knifing zombies, that's all I did. And for those of you who play Call of Duty Zombies, you know how hard that is. So yeah, that, that is my favorite video that I've ever made. Okay, so this one gets asked all the time. How did I meet Daz Black? So back in the day when I was on my Dave the Rave channel, um, I got invited to be part of something called Yeah, so that was that there. Um, I don't think they do anything in the UK anymore. They still do stuff over in America. Um, but basically, in the Legends of Gaming, um, you, they got a load of YouTubers together. And as a test, they sort of got smaller YouTubers um, to do a load of crazy stuff. And we dressed up as random characters. I don't know why they didn't want us to have ourselves. But anyway, they tested it out and it, it worked pretty well. And I was the troll wolf. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, nice shot. Yeah, I know. Hello. Housekeeping. Housekeeping what? Housekeeping. You inhaled something. Housekeeping. What's housekeeping? What's that mean? What is that? That's just a sound. What does it mean? It's not an insect. What the? What's that? <laughs> is that a knife? Yes, it is. It's a very knife. Um, and me and Daz met there and we went out basically we did had this like briefing and like we did this thing and we faced each other on the on the series and and it was all good and then it ended I beat Daz which was quite cool and I was like well dude I ain't doing anything tonight you're not doing anything tonight do you want to go and like see a movie or something I was like does anybody want to go and see a movie and he was like yeah that sounds good so 
We, I didn't really know he did Vine at this point, and this was when Vine was huge, and he was massive on Vine. So I, we were just like chatting and chilling, and I was talking about his YouTube. And I was like, "Oh, you got 100k." Um, I think actually no, he didn't. He had the same subscribers as me. I was like, oh, "I got 60k." I was like, oh, "I got 57k." How's it going? What are you doing? And I'm like, "We're doing all this and that." And we got like to talking and all that sort of stuff. Went out for a meal, and I went to the movies. Um, and so, and then <laughs> we went to the ticket office of the film, and he. He reckoned the the guy at the ticket office recognized Daz. He's like, "Oh, you're that guy from Vine. Can I have a selfie with you?" And I was like, "Hang on, <laughs> I've been recognized with by YouTubers with YouTubers before with who've got like a million or five hundred thousand subscribers. How many Vine followers does this guy have?" Then checked him out and was like, "Holy fuck, that's an insane!" And then I spent and then we watched the film, which was the In Between Us two in the cinema. Funny as hell, we laughed through the whole thing. People were getting well annoyed. Don't get me wrong. Um, and yeah, basically, we went back to the hotel room and I went through all of his vines, laughing my head off, saying, This is genius, man. I wish I could be this funny on Vine. Uh, obviously, I never really took to Vine. I never really did any vines, to be perfectly honest. But it was awesome. And I was like, Holy crap, that's cool. And the friendship blossomed from there. So yeah, and that's where it went from there. We teamed up with Lion, did a few GTA videos, and me and Daz, we've just been friends ever since. And that's how me and Daz met. And also, if you ever get the chance, go and ask him on his channel or his live stream, what did the woman grab on that night? Ask, the night you were with Dave, what did that woman grab? And, uh... <laughs> And he will hopefully relive the fond memory with you guys. <laughs> okay, so number five fact. I've actually had um, three girlfriends um, since I started my YouTube channel. Okay, so there was... Uh, since I've started on YouTube, I should say. So I had uh, Stacey, Demi, and Grace. So I've had many jobs over the years. I'm actually a car salesman. But um, I've worked in game. I've worked as a lifeguard, I've worked as a photographer, I've worked at Tesco, I've worked I've worked in so many different places, uh, but right now I absolutely love my job and it is the best job in the world. Number seven? No, okay, I don't know, I've lost count. This is number seven, whatever. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to say this. My biggest guilty pleasure is... I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 So for those of you who don't know what Yu-Gi-Oh cards are, basically it's a card game where you can, you basically have monster cards, magic cards, and trap cards. Um, and your job is to reduce the other player's life down to zero and you start at 8,000 points. So the idea is that a monster will attack another monster and then the amount of difference between each other's attack points, you get reduced from their life points and it goes down to zero and you can prevent this or stop this or make this better with magic and trap cards. It's kind of like Hearthstone, except way more nerdy. Way more nerdy. Way more nerdy. One of the questions I do get asked a lot is, do I have an Instagram? Yes. There it is. Enjoy. Oh, uh, and uh, also, do I have a Twitter? There it is. Enjoy. Uh, so, question number eight. What is it that got me into gaming in the first place? So, one of my very first games was actually on the Nintendo 64. For anybody who has Nintendo, 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 for anybody who does have a Nintendo 64 has ever played it or ever played their games, you will know of a game called The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the first 3D Zelda game. That blew my mind, and that's what got me into video games initially, and then released its sequel, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This is an evil thing. It's so evil, incredible, beautiful masterpiece of a game.
any of those who haven't played it, it's on 3DS. I would urge you to get a, a Nintendo games console, buy it on like for the backwards compatibility Nintendo stuff they do, um, and just play it because Majora's Mask is a mask to piece. Get it? Mask to piece. One of my worst habits ever, I used to smoke. And I used to smoke a lot. I smoked since the age of about 16. And I smoked until I was about 22-ish, 23-ish. Um, and now I, I vape instead. Um, would I ever recommend smoking? No. It will, it's a waste of money and it will ruin your life. And finally, number 10. I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everybody out there who is currently watching my videos. You guys are awesome. You guys have made me have motivation that to do this YouTube thing that I haven't done in years. And I, it's great to be doing it again. It's so much fun. And I forgot how much fun it is just to make videos for other people's entertainment um, and be allowed to do my own goofy form of comedy. So you guys are the real MVPs, most valuable players. And I do appreciate absolutely every single one of you. And of course, I need to mention about the shirt. So the shirt that you saw me in a video two days ago on my Dave Watches, well, my first Dave Watches video in a very long time, um, we're all guessing how old that shirt was. And no one got it at this point in time. The shirt is actually 11 and a half years old. I've had that shirt since I was 15, 14. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. And if you didn't enjoy the video, then make sure you leave a dislike. But if you do dislike it, please tell me what in the comment section below so I can improve my videos even more. Um, and finally, let's have a little comment game, shall we? So, um, let's have a look. These are biscuits and they don't say what they are on the back do they no okay good so these are biscuits and you have got to guess what biscuits are these hi guys see you next time all right so now i've got to do uh another thumbnail oh god oh i'm so um, I had to move like everything out of the way for this video. Like stuff is just like pushed over there, so pushed over there. By the way, you gotta check out a bit of Roadhog, man. Look at that. Look at that pop vinyl Roadhog. Dude, how epic is that? So yeah, there you go, that's what that is. But yeah, let's do a, let's do a, let's, let's we've gotta move this to the side. First things first, okay. Okay, hopefully that's going to give me one. 